the Son of Man will come. And I personally have not bought into this end-time theology that hints or plainly states that it's too late. I don't believe it is too late. I believe, for instance, that there are some very urgent promises of Scripture that has not yet been fulfilled. I don't believe that God must have Canada or America, the United States, in order to fulfill his promises. But I do know that we've got an awful lot of Jews living among us who have never yet been provoked to jealousy by a Gentile church so holy and so full of the Holy Spirit and so prominent in displaying the glory of Christ in its ranks that the Jews have said that's not fair. He's our Messiah. Why should they have blessings that were intended for us? I can't imagine Christ coming back now to claim the filthy bride that calls itself his church. I know personally I wouldn't want a bride like the Church of North America. And I personally can't conceive of any way by which the bride could be turned from the soiled, rotten mess it is into the virgin without spot and without blemish that Christ purchased with his own blood. I can't think of anything that would make an adequate change in the church, other than revival. I have personally strong convictions that revival is mandatory and that indeed it will come. Where I have uncertainty is whether it will include us or not. But I'm not ready to give up on that, as I've already said. And as long as I can, I'm going to keep calling the church to repentance.